All right, while waiting, maybe you are uh, still thinking of what is the best metaphor. Let, allow me to share this uh, 19 metaphors about teachers in teaching that pop by Dr. Chris uh, Drew, it's 2020 version. So I can read it for you, but you may click it yourself here in the chat box and you read it yourself or you may follow me. A teacher is a gardener, perfect. It seems that uh, Dr. Miranda has read, she has read my, she have read my, my uh, notes here. A teacher is a gardener. So how to relate it? I leave it to you. Yeah, I just give you the metaphor. A teacher is a coach. I love coaching. I love football. So I was a football player, not a, a professional football player. But now maybe I'm thinking of uh, shifting it from playing to coaching, maybe for kids. Maybe part time job lah. Okay. Besides teaching, you really must coaching football coach. Number three is a juggler. You have to juggle with, of course, research, writing, teaching. Uh, all sorts of things related to academia in the academic world. Firefighter, number four. So you may download a fire icon, a firefighter icon, bomba. I love this uh, page from uh, this uh, right up from, uh, by from helpfulprofessor.com. A teacher is a dictator, well, number five. Uh, do you want to become a dictator in your classroom? So the icon may be uh, a hands like strong hand, strong uh, arms like this, dictator. Chairperson, you manage the classroom. Sculpture, how do you sculpt? How do you make a form of a student becoming someone? Uh, schools they use the term kemenjadian murid. Okay. A big hug from a teacher. Comforting the students. Doctor, of course, if you are a doctor, if you're a medical doctor, now you are a teacher, it's like a medical doctor. You know this if you are in this line. How do you diagnose the patients? How do you diagnose the weaknesses of your students, for example? Babysitter. Second parent, yes. Of course, uh, our kid, our students are not our, our children, but if we treat them like our own our kids, our own children, that would be the best. How do you could nurture them? Yeah. Tour guide. Think of uh, if you are, for example, in the middle of Sarawak jungle, maybe a barrio or any, anywhere without a tour guide, you might lose, you might not know anywhere to go. So this is how a teacher acts eh? as a tour guide. Okay, this is just an example. Let's take a look. Okay. So, may I know the owner of this uh, image, the Proton Saga uh, steering wheel? <laughs> so that's her, that's her metaphor for teaching. Chazrina, like a driver, the Chazrina. Who else? Dr. Elinda, a teacher is like a bridge, bridging from one side of, uh, without knowing anything to the another land, to another, uh, place where you can transform your students. All right. So thank you very much for those who contribute to this uh, activity. So now I'll link this to this metaphor into a belief statement about teaching. So another example here. If you want to, you may read it later, but it's, I just list it out here so that you you can refer it later on okay. a teacher is a facilitator coordinator and not only dispensing the knowledge for example uh, to have understanding your student must be able to state and apply the knowledge what else i'm doing going to read uh, each of the uh, point here uh, meaning is constructed not prescribed is for a constructivist. Okay. Uh, no man, Prof. Prof Spencer, no man. You may join, uh, you may listen to me, then you may ask in the chat box. Okay. Students learn best when actively engaged. So we believe, like me, myself, I believe with active learning, uh, not only one way teaching like we are doing right now. Okay. 
That's why even though we are having webinar, I would still prefer you do something, you chat, you type in your chat box, you join me in, on my Padlet, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All right. Yeah. Never mind. So let's take a look at uh, one simple um, and very popular definition about teaching portfolio. This is teaching portfolio. Yeah. A set of materials, of course, is uh, with information content. Work samples. Very important for you to keep all the uh, physical or digital proof, evidence of whatever you have done from the first day you were teaching at the university. Uh, example of a projects, a reflection from your students. Okay. And of course, it's related to student learning and development. Very uh, classic and traditional uh, definition of teaching portfolio. Uh, I intentionally not uh, re. At first, I wanted to summarize the content and paste it onto my PowerPoint slide. But by this way, I would prefer to scroll it and discuss any point that uh, that you are interested to know more. Okay. But but first section, we are going to focus on teaching philosophy. It's a brief statement, brief uh, summary of your belief, your idea, your value. Make it short one, one or two pages. I think one page is enough. Okay, double sp double spacing, uh, double space, maybe two pages. Explain your philosophy about teaching. Uh, the rest uh, will come with different uh, sections of the of the portfolio. Okay. The second uh, resource here. Uh, teaching statement, your concept of learning, how learning occurs. How do you uh, how do you see learning occurs in the classroom or like this session now? How do I know that you are le really learning about teaching statement or teaching teaching philosophy? Okay. So for me, my I need a proof. A proof is that after the second hour, you would be able to give me or show me your teaching philosophy as one sentence. Then I'm going to help you to, to maybe refine it later on. Uh, description number two: How your teaching facilitates the learning process. You are delivering the delivering the message, but now you become not only become a teacher but become a facilitator. You facilitate the process of learning. Uh, reflection: the way you teach, the way students uh, receive the information. The goal for yourself, like Dr. Rose, you know, she wanted to become an, an inspiring educator to inspire the student, of course, to inspire the community uh, with our teaching and learning activity, with our research, with a H index, maybe 500 something on Google Scholar or maybe 100 something on Scopus, for example. Or you come up with a teaching uh, module that helps the community during COVID-19, for example. Uh, you may link it with the, the uh, your teaching portfolio, even though it's not related to your subject. One example. So there would be an impactful uh, teaching and learning activity derived from the beyond the classroom activity. Okay. What else? Evidence. Your interests, maybe a new way that you learn. Okay. All right, so as a general guideline, this uh, make sure your statement is uh, brief and well written. Of course, it come up to the extent that you need a, a proofreader if you write in, in English. Uh, to make sure it's, it's polished, uh, no glaring uh, grammar mistake, it's clearly showing your philosophy, your belief, your value. How do you value the process of? Uh, teaching. Yeah. Uh, use narrative first person approach means you 
tell us the story. You tell the the reader about yourself. It likes a maybe a biography, autobiography about yourself, short one. And be specific rather than, of course, it's philosophical, but please don't tell that I want to become rather than tell the reader that what we have done, not what you plan to have or to achieve. Yeah. And since the, of course, if you are planning to get the award to submit for the teaching award, there are different categories based on the discipline, based on your faculty. So be discipline specific uh, in explaining about your teaching philosophy. Of course, uh, avoid jargon, technical terms, uh, maybe one simple uh, executive summary should shouldn't have any jargon or technical terms. Uh, very important, be sincere, of course, uh, about yourself, what you have done, not what you should be doing to improve the teaching and learning. Be unique. You are the only person you know about yourself. You know what your previous experience for the last maybe five, 10 years, 20 years of teaching experience. Uh, but at the same time, be humble, uh, maybe especially like uh, Malay culture, uh, we should like the, what they call uh, resmi padi, semakin tunduk, semakin berisi. That's in Malay. And of course, uh, I need to revise the document. Uh, it is a growing document. That's why maybe among how many of us today, 30 something, 40, maybe you, I may divide you into two group. One are those who wants to submit for the teaching award. That's why you come here today. Number two, if even though you are not planning to submit anything, no mind, but uh, keeping or having your teaching portfolio is uh, is the best way for you to maybe for your own uh, for your own record. You don't plan to submit for the competition for the order mind, but for your own record, so you can reflect. Uh, it's it's uh, I cannot explain it that if you see wow, this is what I did ten years ago. Uh, so from there, you, you see how you develop, how you develop the process of teaching. Okay. All right. I'm not going to explain uh, each uh, details. So that's the teaching, uh, teaching philosophy. Let's take a look at the example from uh, at Irimas. We have a teaching fellowship of teaching and learning advancement. Uh, these are the fellows and one of them. I love the summary of their teaching philosophy. As always, for me, myself, the best way to learn is by, by imitating. You imitate others. So you may re read my teaching philosophy here. Uh, I guarantee this is not, not the best example. And if I read this again, I wrote this maybe th three years ago. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, then I would change this to a new one, maybe tomorrow. Or tonight, if I write new thing tomorrow, I'll change my philosophy. Okay. You start with one uh, sentence about your belief. Like for me, myself, I believe uh, about interactive teaching, explanation, and I use real explanation about my own MOOC, Massive Open Online uh, Subject course. Then be specific in our area. So as a computer science and IT area, so me, myself, I believe my students should have hands-on activities. So no one-way lecture like this, even if I conduct, I got class at 12 o'clock, three hours class. If you see the way I conduct the webinar, you will see there's nothing like this. I want my student to type the coding in front of me. They need to share their screen, for example, and I guide them through the process. Right, so this is Dr. Nazim's philosophy in BM. Up to you, but for the for the document for Unimas and the national level, uh, you may use BM or English. I think no, should be no problem, but stick on one language. Yeah, you see the keyword, berdasarkan kepercayaan, belief. Dr. Fitri, see, short enough, one short paragraph about making mistake and learning. So this is uh, Dr. William from Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. She, uh, he was the, and uh, he was nominated as the recipient, nominated for the last two years, if not, I'm mistaken. Uh, 
for the National Academy Award. He was called for the interview. Uh, that's the last stage before the the and give you the award. Even in in a bullet point, event, but the best should be one short paragraph. He has five main pillars, five bullet points. No problem. Thomas, I told these are the fellows from Unimas, of course. If you ask me how I come up with this uh, statement, uh, teaching philosophy statement, again, uh, of course, I th have thought it very detailed, think of it very detailed, but I read it from someone else uh, teaching philosophy. Of course, uh, it's not a plagiarism, but we get the idea how they how they write a nice sentence, very, very attractive way to represent the idea. Okay. So at least you have some ideas on the example. What do you want to provide to your student? Right. Okay, let's take a look at the recipient of AAN 2016 from USM. Uh, this is in BM, no mind. She is submitted the uh, form in BM. She started as a behaviorist. Uh, then about constructivist, it's more on like uh, teaching it's more like teaching, uh, what I call it, a theory, learning theory. Reflection about teaching. She sees herself not only as a teacher or a knowledge conveyor, but also the whole process of, uh, of informing the student, uh, usage of technology in teaching. This is the recipient of 2016 National Academy Award, Dr. Azida from USM. Let's take a look at the recipient of the last year AN from UMT. Right, if you want to see the document, this is the document cover. Normally for the cover, uh, if you want to submit it to the national level, like uh, come come is uh, going to help you no worries with the design cover but if you want to design it yourself should be no problem you will work together with come uh, what you want to put in front on the front page uh, normally we have the university logo with aan logo this is the AAN logo the red one this is the uh, winner for the teaching award last year from science gunaan applied science Dr. Shahreza Muhammad Sharif from UMT, University of Malaysia Trangano. His uh, area is in maybe like marine science, something like that, agriculture. This is the design for the cover page. Normally, if you want to put your photo here, it's up to you. But again, you will discuss it with, uh, with uh, come designer later on. Let's read his teaching portfolio. Short one, one short paragraph. Okay. I may read it, but I leave it to you to read. And you may ask me in the chat uh, box if you want. First sentence how he sees teaching and learning. the context of the process in acquiring the knowledge. So he believes that we as a teacher, as educator, should understand every individual. If you have 40 students, uh, know their capability, background, strength, and potential. Okay. Of course, he has longer description, but I just uh, focus on the first uh, paragraph. So this is very, very important for you to polish the first paragraph, the first sentence. 
and the competition is is very very. I tell you, during my during 2016, there were 19, uh, 19 uh, portfolios in front of the judges, and Alhamdulillah, luckily I was uh, selected as uh, one of the winner. Okay. So we've seen lots of examples now. All right, it's uh, now it's your turn. I would prefer again an interactive session. Uh, give chance for you to to take this opportunity to interact with me using these uh, Google Docs. Okay. Of course, if you are using your PC, oh, we just click the link. And I'm giving you simple form here. Type your name and your teaching philosophy. Don't worry, everything is uh, is nothing or it's just uh, you just create it this this morning. Never mind. At least we can uh, we can see and we can interact. I can read your maybe one or two short sentences about your teaching philosophy. Okay. So who wants to become the number one, please? Or if you already have it, that's the best. Just cut and paste it here. So by that way, okay, Natasha, she she refused to become the number one. Or someone else is number at number one now. Yeah, I provided uh, up to 38, 40 rows. You may pick one, any of, of the rows, never mind. As long as you don't edit your friends uh, right up. Yeah, thank you, Ratantasha. Keep up the good job to becoming a very active uh, webinar student rather than just passively listening to me. Okay, please, uh, rest of you, the rest of you, just click the address, the URL on the chat box, and this Google Docs document would appear on your browser. And feel free to type. Don't worry about the grammar, we'll repair it later on, but I want to see your ideas. How do you express your ideas about what you believe in teaching? And I guarantee, like, like Prof Spencer, you will spend so many years in teaching, it's everything in your mind, but you just uh, need time to re to, to type it nicely in a philosophical statement. I love Google Docs, Google Documents. If you never use it for a student's activity, you may try one. I even use uh, Google Docs to write general articles. Five of us as the co-authors, all of us contribute one sentence, for example. The next day, the, the main author compile it and submit it. A bit too start, a bit hard, but once you start writing it, you may exit two, three or four pages. That's why I say it should be short, short and sweet please keep it short and sweet i don't think the the examiner or the jury would love to read the whole uh, your whole write-up if you come up to up to five pages for one one section this is we are we haven't got to the second section this is the first section teaching philosophy and you should become a role model for your student so that's the philosophy. Now, num number one, perfect. Number two, what have you done in your classroom to become that role model? So you answer my second question. From the first question, what is your belief? Yes, I agree. You believe that you should become a role model for your students. That brings us to the second question. Uh, okay, simple discussion, like we use uh, what, why, how, or you may start with why first. Why do you think that uh, interactive teaching is the best? Why? Then how? How you did it in your classroom? Yeah, that is my idea. Uh, don't worry. My, there's lots of uh, way you want to reword it nicely. Thank you. So for someone who sent the message privately, no man. All right. While waiting, uh, number one, nobody. Semua takut nombor satu, macam my student juga. Siapa nak mula dulu semua senyap, tapi 
uh, after one after somebody started the discussion the rest of the class started to even i have to stop them sorry the uh, time time's up yeah dr natasha says but her teaching philosophy is that every student should feel the op their opinion matters so she wants them to actively uh, interact discussion type classroom rather than one way explanation like i'm doing just like now to make the classroom dynamic and active see i like your explanation you link it with a real process of learning not only philosophically but also how do you deliver the as when how do you want your student to uh, come up with a project structure to mimic the current industry's demand so you see the keyword she used uh, current demand industry demand so the the readers the the audience could expect i'm not sure i uh, expect that dr dasha he, he she is uh, she wants it to become highly related to industry and that's the point we are uh, preparing ourselves now we prepare them to become uh maybe industry worker that 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 they really really are ready for the job industry tang ping ping that says should be fun okay so that's the philosophy right now the second sentence you may add the second sentence why why it should be fun number number three how do you conduct a fun classroom session it looks like abstract papers general papers abstract with one two three structured content so here of course there's no specific structured content for teaching philosophy but i use this way to explain it what why how thank the time beeping Dr. Kairiel says, uh, individual, unique. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Liana. Given equal opportunity to learn, okay. not to mention now we are doing it online classroom. Some of my students, not that far, not in very rural area of Sarawak, just uh, Padawan area, maybe just behind the, the hill or the the mountain, she could not get the access to the internet. But that one and it must maybe uh, half an hour or one hour less. So now how I'm going to how do I need how I need to conduct the, the online session, for example. Not one size fits all. From there, you may Google deeper the terms like uh, Uber University. Uber University, or you want to see more like like we are ordering Uber taxi or Grab car, it's up to you. Where do you want to go? Uh, what is the type of the taxi, the car that you want to that you want to take? Small, big. When when is the time? So the your student should learn just in time when they want it, when they want it uh, to be delivered to you to them. Okay, thank you, Atliana. Dr. Miranda believes that. Authentic context, very uh, special context, one to one, maybe real world problem solving. Uh, like like what we're doing now, this is really authentic. You can't get this uh, text from anywhere on Google. This is authentic from you. Uh, even the activity, the process is authentic. You are typing in front of me, uh, except that you cast it, can't paste it from one somewhere else. Okay. MAM says learning begins when students are willing to learn. Okay, number one, that's that's the first sentence. Sentence number two, why? Sentence number three, how do you go the willingness to learn uh, among your students? Yes, yeah, so Luin, Dr. Soluin. Of course, as a doctor, you teach them there should be a, a competent. The keyword is competent. Now, competency-based learning, how do you guide the future doctors? Is it through a webinar like this or through virtual operation, for example, or ask them to be in the, in the whatever condition is it, whatever situation it must be, it must bring them to the, to become a competent medical doctor. Thank you. AL says learn by doing, okay, not only listening. 5W1H, uh, five uh, wives, one husband question to trigger the curiosity Mr. Jonathan says aja cara pancing jangan beri ikan oh, ganas sejuk ni so 
maybe for the first day bagi dulu lah bagi dulu ikan mungkin takut dia lapar kan tengah hari tak makan lagi so sampai tengah hari tak dapat ikan lagi so maybe one uh, bagi ikan dulu but the next day uh, while waiting for the, for the first fish uh, you explain it a bit okay this is like metaphor still a metaphorical maybe the second sentence mr john say uh, can explain it further uh, pc give uh, gives a metaphor of lighthouse showing safe part of the ships uh, boats and canoes, open sea. Yeah, uh, these are the students, the boats. Ups and downs on of the journey, or the rough sea, for example, maneuvering uh, bad weather, pirates if there is. Yeah. Nice, uh, PC. I like your metaphor. I like your story. It will become a nice story. Tarakai <laughs> says. Uh, our client see if you are talking about client it means business it means business if you're talking about business about money and uh, cents and dollars how you how do you make sure that every every penny every cents that they pay for the uh, student study fee for example gives some uh, effect for them uh, talenda has a bit a uh, long explanation here i think panjang sikit dah saya dah malas nak baca dah but in mind this is one example Language teacher, Dr. Linda, facilitate the learner to learn independently, okay? So no more spoon feed, they learn it by themselves. You encourage the learner, the value, okay, good. Now, so explain deeper uh, based on your area, second language learning. Constructivist, the learning theory. So thanks for the question. That brings us to the second uh, half of the session, designing a teaching portfolio with, uh, of course, with the tips on designing. And we, of course, we start with content first. What are the content? So don't waste your time uh, thinking of the content because your content must follow the form. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kiman. He has uh, come up with a nice uh, form. This is the form. Yeah, let's take a look if you... Log on to com.unimas.my. Okay. Click Teaching Excellence. And go to the awards. Click Teaching Award. So of course, these are the uh, criteria, eligibility. Uh, make sure you are a full-time lecturer or instructor at Unimas, permanent uh, staff and at least five years service at Nimas. Let's say today is your fourth year or 4.9 years at Unimas, you're not eligible to mind. This would be your, you would going to, you have to submit it next year for the next Magu uh, Majlis Anugerah Gemilang Unimas 2021. Okay, number one. Number two, even though you are not planning to submit anything, no mind. You, for this purpose, the, the teaching portfolio is for you too to keep it as your own record. Okay, one day, who knows, after 10, 20 years, you refer it and you found it, then you see that what happened as a very historical, uh, uh, what you call it, evidence for whatever you've done in the classroom, okay? Download the form. All right. So this is the form, profile, you know this. Summary of your achievement. Uh, this is the content of the portfolio. So like for this form, Mr. Kiman wants you to have six points, six main points in your portfolio. Just follow this, uh, what they want, what comes once. Come up with six main sections, six sections of your document. You may write, if you're using Microsoft Word, you may use uh, six headers, heading one, or if you want, you may have six sub uh, not sub menu, sub sub chapter. See what we did just now. Number one done. Teaching philosophy statement. One or two pages enough. That's that's a tip. Uh, last uh, last week I shared uh, two uh, one hour session with my faculty members about uh, writing tips, about general writing tips. My simple tip was like if the general wants you to write from 4,000 words to 7,000, how many words would you write? 
simple question. The journal wants you to write from 4,000 to 7,000 words. So my tip was write 4,000 words, that's it. As long as you come up with the requirement, because the longer you write, maybe you are exposing yourself to more mistakes, for example. It saves time. Okay, like you have to uh, think of the content. Yeah. I see. Okay, I have a question. I have a question here. Yeah. Uh, so means uh, the tip is uh, we have to just uh, write straightforward in our yes. of a teaching portfolio. It is. Yes. Answer I what see. they want. What the answer, what the want. I see. I see. The letter okay. ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Tuan okay. You may continue. All right. Okay. So section one done with our activity just now. If you want. Uh, you may copy your own uh, answer here, copy and paste it to your your own new uh, Word document if you haven't got one uh, file special for teaching portfolio. So done. Who's this? This is done with your first section, philosophy. So this is the first chapter, heading one. Second chapter, strategy in teaching. So tell us, tell the evaluators, what have you done? What was your strategy in delivering your message to your students? Uh, teaching, supervision, and assessment. If you have, of course you have face-to-face -face classroom. And uh, now we have during uh, the pandemic and post pandemic, all of us started to come up with a new approach of using webinar. See, just tell us, tell the, the examiner, tell the evaluators what happened. What is your strategy? Assessment. Another challenge for us for, us for this semester. How do you assess your student from like a take home exam, uh, exam without exam papers, maybe through final presentations? Yeah, section two. You like a story, you tell us the story. Two pages for the philosophy, maybe three, four pages with a screenshot of the evidence. Chapter two. Chapter three, how creative you are in your teaching and learning delivery. How innovative you are. Please, uh, this is the time for you to, it's not about boasting yourself, but to promote your experience. Tell us about your experience, your expertise, uh, what have you done. Okay. And you can ria untuk examiner boleh. You don't. You're not showing that you are great. You are. You're the best. But this is the time for you to prove. Uh, give us the proof. Give the, the evaluator the proof. With evidences, is there any uh, hard copy? Of course, maybe you take the photo, photo or photocopy, attach it. Okay. And the keyword is impact. For Unimas. Teaching award or even for the national teaching award, number three is the is the keyword creativity and innovation. Everyone are teaching face to face, two hour lecture. You speak, students keep quiet. Now, how you change it to become a more creative way, like uh, interactive teaching, maybe gamification, game based learning, whatever. Uh, you bring your student to visit to the site, ask them to come up with a. The real project, visiting community, these are all creative ways of uh, delivering the message. Innovating the process of teaching, maybe you come up with a special module. You know, because this is your area. Area. You invest, innovate the module, or you innovate a uh, maybe a material, or even the best your student could come up with a new material, for example, maybe a robot machine, whatever, a new software. Okay. And give us the give the evidence, and how impactful is it? It is maybe project based learning. Okay, that's it. Chapter three. Chapter four. Uh, of course, for the evaluation, this is not from you. Normally, it's from testimonial of the students in the course. Uh, what do you call it? In course uh, course evaluation. Evaluation form every end of this semester. All students are compulsory for them to fill up the form, give us the rating, the Likert scale, as well as what they like or dislike about us. Okay, for the tips, normally the, the best tip is, of course, you just highlight the, the, the good testimonial, the bad one, so you, you hide it, don't show it here. 
Okay. Number five. How do you improve from time to time? Through professional development, like today, you learn from me. You just list out what are the webinar that you have attended. Number one, but better. Number two, if there's a chance that somebody invited you, invites you to become a speaker, that's, that will bring a higher point. Uh, professional development. Okay, I'll show you my portfolio of the later on. Okay. Now, if nobody wants to call you to invite you to share the session, so what should you do? The quickest way, normally you propose to your head of department or deans. Like last week, I got, I was invited by my own dean to share about how I wrote one journal article every month during uh, the lockdown. Since March, April, June, July, I've got four Scopus articles um, that are accepted for articles in four months during the lockdown. So my dean wanted me to share the experience last week. It was a 30 minute session on Wednesday. Suddenly, uh, somebody wants it more, so I need to come up with the second session on Friday last week. One way is you propose to your boss or to your deans. May I share my tips on having a creative or innovative way of teaching. Never mind, for free. And number six, scholarship of teaching. Preferably, you will apply a subtle grant under come uh, the research. You connect research, classroom research with teaching. For whom is for yourself, for your own students. You come up with maybe a testing or questionnaire or interview with the current student uh, about your approach. Is it good? Is it bad? How they want it to be to make it better? You summarize it. Come with a proper uh, proposal. You apply for the grant, subtle grant, scholarship of teaching and learning. And from there, you may uh, propose from the grant, you may submit a paper as well, a journal paper, publish one journal paper, Scopus. So in teaching and learning, you integrate, integrate it with publication. Okay, that's it. Six section, maybe six times, two pages, 12 pages enough, but very concise, straight to the point, uh, give us the evidence. Of course, for the evidences, uh, if it's in digital form, just print screen it, but crop it nicely. Crop it nicely. For example, I'm using a snipping tool. Okay, this is the snipping tool. Uh, listen carefully, it's snipping tool, not sleeping tool. Snipping, not sleeping, copy it, and paste it on your document. Okay, so this is the evidence. Up to you to format it nicely. Okay. So uh, the first section header, second section you explain blah blah blah. Of course, for each explanation, you need to accompany it with uh, strong evidence, real evidence. Digital evidence is still in hard copy. Maybe take the photo of it and upload it here uh, and put it in your uh, document. All right, each and every statement, if possible. Like for me myself, I got uh, fifty pages of the pillows, uh, of the portfolio, but the evidences up to two hundred pages. What are they? All letters, invitation letters, any official letters, any official evidence, maybe email. Your screen, uh, print screen, screenshot. Yeah, grab the screen of the email, paste it here with proper uh, caption. Easy for the for the audience to read it. Okay, and there's a rubric here for each section. Yeah, rub rubric is here. Just uh, study the rubric, and that's it. That's for the content. Okay, so for today we just focus on the teaching award. Of course, there's under the awards. And the form is in a document file. You may write it directly here. Type it directly. Okay. Next, uh, let's let's take a look at my document. Of course, it was 2016. For the starter, maybe you want to use Microsoft Word first, just to compile everything based on the sections. 
So for example, mine, I have uh, six sections. Again, it differs maybe different year, got different uh, requirement. Of course, we start with a nice cover. Uh, my metaphor is like a, like a magazine style. This was four or five years ago. Maybe not, not applicable or not popular more anymore this uh, year. Okay, nice cover. I use a magazine metaphor with header. I use photo. The Forbes magazine, can. if you appear on Forbes magazine, you are a big millionaire, huge millionaire. Okay. Magazine style. That time, uh, barcode. So I use, push, use barcode metaphor here. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a real or I just use dummy barcode. Uh, times fly. Maybe now you don't like people nowadays are not using barcodes anymore. Uh, using QR code. You can create your own QR, QR code easily. Lots of QR code tool available. Generator online. Yeah, for free. Lots of uh, QR code generators. Okay, for example, uh, okay, this is the your data or your document. Place it here. And this is your QR code. If you never used it before, you may save it in PNG format. Here it's here. Now on the cover page, just example if you want. Insert the QR code. Okay, done. Now you want to test it, you may use, uh, take your smartphone and scan it. Don't use Unimas now. Uh, me, myself, always uh, sometimes did the mistake. I use Unimas now to scan any barcodes. And also don't use My Sejahtera. They could not detect your QR. Use the any generic QR code reader. And it will point you to the correct URL address. Okay, one example. All right. I'm giving you, a, just throwing the ideas for you if you want. So from QR code, the examiner or the reviewer, if they refuse to read the sentence, maybe they want to, to want, want to see the video. Uh, you have a video or your YouTube channel. They just uh, you just link the URL of your YouTube channel to this QR code. Okay. Here, paste it here on URL, and maybe you have one summary video which summarizes summarizes the whole teaching portfolio, your philosophy in one short videos, for example. Lots of uh, opportunity, lot of ideas if you want. You may use Microsoft Word. You may use any other uh, type text processing uh, software or any graphic design software. Preferably Adobe Illustrator, if possible. If not, maybe Photoshop or whatever. I'll show you one more tool after this. One easy, simple tool. Okay, page two, the table of content. Again, make sure it's correct. Uh, chapter title, chapter number, page number, yeah, images, photo up to you. Yeah, of course, we credit for the fit for the photo, the owner of the photo. Section one, uh, this is the cover page. Cover for the, uh, I mean the divider, divider for this section. Okay, straight. This is mine. Straight through. This is my learning uh, teaching philosophy. Second chapter, uh, second page. Yeah, maybe like a short, quick info, like summary of the figures, uh, fact and figures. Okay. Uh, this is more detailed explanation of my teaching portfolio. Uh, I mean, sorry, my uh, teaching philosophy. Continuous innovation, continuous uh, improvement for my classroom. I uh, involved in MOOC project in 2015. Details about the videos, the duration. Uh, why tell the examiner tell the uh, the jury why your MOOC project is the best for example about the completion rate it's like giving a story what happened in your classroom in and outside of the classroom what else i just highlight some important uh, text like i use a different color continuous improvement improvement about myself 
uh, pelajar diutamakan okay. that time was during Datuk Seri Najib satu Malaysia rakyat diutamakan so I use that idea pelajar diutamakan storytelling in the classroom active teaching so these are the real evidence what I've done in, in my class practical hands-on session maybe it's like too abstract or simple like a philosophical classroom, philosophy class, so a subject, but still you may come up with an, a more practical and hands-on activity. Book, workbook. Uh, I, I wrote it myself, I published it myself, the workbook, so that the classroom would become more interactive. And that time, Web 2.0, five years ago, was very popular. I think now we are in the era of Web 2, 3, or 4.0. My mantra, my formula, engaging learners, how I engage my student. So you may learn the art of uh, storytelling. Three pages. Uh, of course, the references actually is not needed. I just, uh, it's not like a general article, but it's just to make sure that I, like my theory, if I link it to a theory, there's uh, some references. But I think it's not not uh, compulsory. Okay. Strategy, teaching strategy. Make sure you number the sections correctly, section number two, and tag it correctly. You may use like physical uh, tag. You paste it nicely, clear so that the the secretariat can see correctly that you are you are having the page number correct, the section are correct. Okay, this is my story about uh, problem-based learning. Okay. Yeah, way to get the photo. Always uh, ready to snap the photo of your classroom session every, every week, every week. Who knows the photo would become a very important uh, evidence for the teaching portfolio. You may use bullet points, but I think the better is like a proper book book style format with a proper paragraph. Just list it out here. Yeah, this is what I mentioned just now, the digital evidence, print screen, the YouTube video. If you have any books related to your classroom, yeah, the cover here. All right, talking about uh, personal blog. Now I'm talking about digital uh, physical uh, document. You are going to print, print the hard copy of your portfolio. But from now, you may start with maybe a digital version of it first. As simple as Microsoft Word version of it. Then you move to the online version using uh, maybe free Blogspot as uh, like your own uh, your own reflection for your activity, maybe weekly report using uh, Blogspot. I use blogspot.com for my research page as well. Okay, for example, uh, I have separated my publication, my research activity and my teaching activity. So this is the like portfolio of my research. Okay, research profile, publication list, publication impact. This is just for example, don't worry, no real, uh, no connection with uh, teaching portfolio, but one good way for you to keep up, keep your data. Uh, but uh, this is all web of science, Scopus data, citation. My hash index is too low, six. I should increase it to maybe 60 for the next five, five years at least, or three years. Okay. Research profile, if you have any, these are the list of uh, online profile. I have all the, I have all the uh, digital presence on, of course, Unimas Research Profile, Visual CV. Okay, this is my official homepage. It's on visualcv.com. Uh, Visual CV is not free. Of course, you need to pay for the service, but I like it's like a simple CV. I can have the PDF version of it and as well as the online version, visual CV. And I separate between uh, research profile and teaching profile. So on teaching profile, I have it on 
nb.io. And this is free. If you're thinking of maybe you don't want to waste your money paying for the premium uh, visual CV version of uh, online homepage, online uh, personal homepage, you may use 8b.io. Mine is sharonism.8b.io. The same thing, I just uh, cut and paste my physical document into this online document, online portfolio. The same thing, start with uh, teaching philosophy, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is the updated version of mine. Nice, isn't it? You have a like a slick, a professional uh, page with a nice photo, with lots of white space, easy for the audience to read it. No man, again, I always keeping the same thing. If you don't plan to submit for the award, no worries. Come up with a digital version of yours first. Or if you want, uh, don't tell others, keep it secret. What, whatever you have, keep it secret, don't tell others. Once you're ready, uh, recompile it from digital version into a physical version and submit it. I'm not sure, maybe for the next two or three years uh, in the future, the National Academic Awards, maybe they don't want to see the physical version anymore. So you just submit the PDF version, easy. Maybe the next five, 10 years, maybe the uh, virtual reality version of your classroom or our vision of it, I'm not sure, I don't know. All right. Okay, your uh, last time it was Morpheus, our Unimas, uh, the new name is Elip. You tell the story, paste the evidence here. You tell the story, you paste the evidence. List of courses, for the list of courses since 2010, where to get it? Uh, it's on my mark. Each of us, we have this. Uh, here, teaching history. SMPweb.unimas.my, my mark, of course, you're on subject. Teaching history from 2009. All subjects, as long as it is on Unima's official server, all history are here until today. Thanks for the developer of this, uh, this application. So we don't have to, could you imagine you need to doing the excavation, excavation, the digging activity from 2009. Do you still keep the evidence? The title of the course, credit hour, subject group, teaching method, number of students. So now everything are here, undergraduate and postgraduate. Simple, copy and paste up to you to make it better, nicer. Paste it on your document, onto your document. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, again, it depends on the formatting. If you want to make it nicer, just or you want to print screen it. Print screen is not good in terms of the uh, quality of the screen. If you have high quality, keep it the highest quality. Or you may use snipping tool. Again, the snipping tool, copy it and place it here. All right, I would prefer if I can do this. Uh, and so on with you. So we have another half an hour remaining also. You may listen to me and do it immediately now. Takut lupa kan, where's the address of SMP web? The URL for SMP web. All the history are here. Teaching uh, history. This is for the current subject, current semester. All right. What else? I use print screen as a result, it's not that sharp. So I would prefer you don't use print screen, you may use better tool like uh, retype it to the, up to the extent of retyping the code data. Next. Whatever achievement of your student, highlight it. Two projects, final year project, receive an award during a Unimatch Research Symposium. However small it is, highlight it. 
list of your students, whatever project that they have come up with a app, app software, physical product, list it out here. Name of the student, the title of the project on here, FYP, the posters, publication with your students as a proof that uh, the product is uh, acceptable by the reviewer. See, I like I like the student. They love to to having a photo session, selfie, wifi session, or whatever they call it. Almost uh, every week, the photo. And of course, you ask them that you need the photo for the for your the, for your document. Innovation. Yeah. For each section, maybe up to five pages. Up to you. How do you uh, arrange it? I use lots of photos. I love photos, short description uh, with quotes, if you want, related quote. Okay, again, based learning, if you are using, like the time Kahoot was very popular, so I print script all the list of the Kahoot uh, quizzes that I, I've done with my students, I've used in my students. Flip Classroom, it was very popular. And of course, I think it's very still popular now, Flip Classroom. We are flipping our semester now. Our students are in Semenanjung, in Sabah, in Miri, in Kapit, but they are following our class. Higher order thinking, type of activities, title of your project, mini activities, mini project. The impact of the innovation, very important, how it impacts, impacted your student. Especially the best way to explain is in terms of uh, the result, but not necessarily using result. Of course, uh, in reporting this type of data, you need to explain it clearly about the, the graph. Okay. But generally, once you have better approach, better innovative way of teaching, whether the achievement are better, maybe this semester compared to the last semester. Testimonial. Of, for the official testimonial is from uh, Unimas exam, I'm not sure what's the name of the form, the teaching Teaching evaluation form, uh, that's very exclusive testimonial. It's not the fake one, it's the real one. Yeah, I just paste it here, even the full name with matrix number. And I paste it verbatim. Muhammad Shazim, for example, he says, I love you, Tonaji. So I just paste it verbatim without any correction with the grammar or whatever. Uh, so you know, now it's uh, up to you how you want to. Uh, present it. For example, you have 70 students. You may paste all 70 testimonials, but it may be hard for the reviewer to see what is the highlight. So I group it under maybe the header. They love my way, the way I teach, fun, lots of activities, efficient way of teaching. Number, right, you're talking about a business, teaching as a business. These are your client. If they're happy with your teaching product, this is their proof. One way, official form. Second way, we may have as simple as maybe a Google form. You do it yourself. Please come up, uh, ask your student to fill the form. Please give a sincere comment about our class, for example, or for our subject. Or if you need to be more, more sincere, uh, make it anonymous. You don't know who are, who are your students, who gives, who gives the comment. Aji. Tanaji, yes. Yes. Uh, can I yes. interject? Okay, there is a few question yeah. daripada uh, from Dr. Roslinda Alias. Uh, okay. She's Please. asking for AAN, it requires us to have 10 years experience. Uh, this yes. one is Correct. not including your PhD scholarship? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe starting from the first day you you uh, register yourself as a lecturer at the university. I see. So All including, right. including PhD. Including, okay. So yeah. uh, another, uh, this is a second question from Dr. Rose, Dr. Rose as well. For teaching innovation, okay. is that only focuses on our TNL in our courses? For teaching innovation? Uh, normally we link it in whatever happened in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether it, if, let's say it's like a community project. Mm -hmm. uh, you still can highlight it, maybe in the second page of it. I see. Because it, there is no direct impact to your student. See. But it is it may be the impact maybe to the community. 
or mm -hmm. you integrate the activity, you will bring your student to the community. For example, that's my idea. Okay. okay. Never mind. Just, just tell, just uh, this is the time for you to promote your expertise, your innovative idea. Maybe not directly to your specific subject. Yeah. I see. Okay. Right. Uh, the third right. question is, what about innovation TNL for community? It is uh, acceptable? Yes, I think that would be the best way to, to prove that you are you are cited by your community. I see. Like me, on my Google citation, the citation is very low, six only. But I for see. you, maybe thousands, hundreds of thousands of uh, people in the community know about you. Okay. All right. so, so that's why we use this uh, this testimonial is very important okay from okay. your dean uh, yeah, from other lecturers from other faculties not from your own faculty only from okay. other universities from uitm okay. if you have clicks from different universities just paste it here okay yeah, it's a continuous uh, development for yourself not for others uh, the process of teaching how do you uh, involve your student like the community project even my faculty here faculty of computer science are active in the uh, community-based uh, learning SOTAL project list of the courses that you have attended but better the courses that you have uh, you as the speaker of course we start with listening the second stage is you as the speaker What else? Uh, like, let's say nobody knows about me. Nobody wants to invite me for the sharing session. Never mind. I share my expertise on YouTube, for example. Of course, I don't have a specific YouTube channel. I've just started with maybe focus on uh, research activity. Okay. So I teach visualization this semester. I share about COVID data visualization. Uh, don't worry about the number of viewers, extremely low, only 45 viewers for the last three weeks. Then when, as long as I have uh, shared it using uh, YouTube. So I got one mark for, for here, for Kongsian Lalui, social media. Uh, Pinterest, whatever uh, tools that you know, that you want to think are better, maybe Facebook, you have your, your own uh, Facebook group, you have your own, uh, for example, Telegram with hundreds of followers, for example. Yeah. Then face-to-face -face, uh, talk if you have schools, which date, proper date with full evidence, the invitation later, letter. Books, module, if you have written your own books, module, the cover page. Uh, list of awards that you received. Start small, maybe faculty level. Uh, I won Anugraf Pensyara Popular 2012. Maybe it's like nothing like this for fun, but at least you have one point here. Not necessarily teaching and learning. Uh, for example, I won the Science Mathematics Award 2009. <clears throat> Leadership. If you have a uh, you're invited to become a coordinator for any projects, never mind, start small. Trainer, developer, yeah, and uh, cover. All right, so the tool that I would suggest is, of course, uh, my favorite tool. It's uh, canva.com. Uh, thousands of hundreds of maybe uh, template here, for example, magazine cover, if you want it to be like magazine or travel magazine, fashion magazine, just use the template, not the content. <laughs> of course, the content is yours. Okay, take one template and just copy and paste the content from, from your Microsoft Word document to this uh, nice, beautiful uh, template on Canva. Okay. Change the photo to your photo. If you've never used uh, Canva before, I've used it. Okay. Yes, replace the image. Sorry. Let me delete the previous content. And just double click and replace the current text, current text. And download it. Download or print it. So no worries about the graphical graphic design. 
focus on the content first. I think somebody would help you for the design later on if you are if you don't have any background in graphic design. All right. So what else? Done, done. I have compiled the list of the last the previous winners here on petlet.com slash shahrol slash teaching portfolio. Uh, I kept it secret. I mean that you only you and me don't know the URL. Amen. I mean. Okay, you may view it later on. Tips and guidelines are here. How to write a teaching statement, teaching portfolio. But uh, Prof Amin. Robert Tamin was the first winner, 2006. And even on the official AAN page, you may find it. Yeah. Click here, Snarai Penerima, the list of recipient since 2006 until the current uh, version, current uh, year. Yeah, the late uh, Prof. Mary Tess and Sri Kim was the, the winner. All right. If you have a nice journal article, you may also apply. For besides teaching, uh, teaching category, this is for journal article. This is my photo. You may click the info. All right. Okay, so Thomas, I think uh, we are here now towards the end of the session, 11.45. Okay, thank so you. So I open the session, you. maybe you want okay. to yeah, right. comment or question, please. Is anyone can ask the question? Just now that Teru's already asked the question. If you want to ask the question, you can text in the question uh, chat room or in the chat. So I can read uh, your question in order to ask uh, Tuan Haji Sharif. While waiting, Tuan Haji, maybe I, I, I have another question for you. <laughs> yes, please. Um, maybe you can share with us uh, how uh, can we gain motivation in order for us to develop a teaching portfolio? Because some of us sometimes oh. uh, have <laughs> difficulties yeah, to, to, okay. to gain the motivation in order to develop this teaching portfolio. It's not easy, I think. Especially right, for those yeah. who are not familiar with the technical and so on. Because now on the teaching portfolio, okay. we are designed in, in, in E, electronic, right? Uh, okay. So that, how, how can we, how can we um, gain our motivation in order for us to right. become someone who are developing uh, a teaching portfolio? Maybe you can share some uh, tips for I, motivation. Uh, I don't know how to answer your question. <laughs> this is the only answer. Uh, okay, <laughs> you show us. <laughs> this uh, is my the uh, my uh, my motivation. motivation was to hold to hold this uh, this plot this uh, beautiful is a uh, is pewter I think maybe thousand something the price uh, that's it and fifty k of course the money <laughs> is not my main intention yes rather yes, than yes. Uh, but how to how to okay I just. I want to share, that's it. I want to share my activities, my practice in my classroom. I and I submitted the form. Uh, okay, forget about winning. 2015, I submitted my first uh, form, national, mm -hmm. sorry, mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. uh, I submitted my form and I cannot get the, uh, the award, never mind. So I learned from my mistake. That's the way you develop the process. The second year, I resubmit and I won the, the university level. Yes. Yeah, there was the university uh, promoted my name or submitted my name, and I won in the for the national level. I see. Right. So uh, if you don't, if you think that you don't want to go for the award, never mind. You mm -hmm. keep it in the as small as simple as Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm. uh, grow the recruitment from mm -hmm. semester to semester, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, please make sure that you divide it correctly between teaching portfolio and course profile. I see. Course profile is about your course, about the subject, the, the, the human, okay. the assignments, mm -hmm. the project. This is about yourself. I see. Mm -hmm. The 
about you. Mm -hmm. Or from after that, you develop maybe a personal homepage. Then maybe the the last day before you retire from uh, from Unimas, you compile it and become uh, your own your own collection book or yeah collection is, of uh, collection, evidences. Right? Yes, become yes. your own autobiography. I see. Okay, let's say nobody wants to read your autobiography. No man, you give it to your your children to your grandchildren. Right. Uh, this right. is from my mm. forty years uh, experience in teaching. Okay, Dr. Mas. Okay, okay. Thank you, Tuan Haji, for the sharing. So far, we don't have any question from participants, or maybe we can conclude on this uh, on this workshop. Thank you, Tuan Haji, for the insightful and informative uh, sharing. Uh, now, uh, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, so, uh, with that, so thank you very much, uh, Tuan Haji, and thank you very much to all participants who are joining our workshop for today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you come for inviting me. All right. Thank you, Tuan Haji. All right. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam.